What is going on everybody? It's the War Boss and today we are here with Master Duel, something I did not think I would be covering content on on this channel. However, I figured why not, you know? Now this is not going to be a this is not the start of the series I wanted to do on Master Girl. This is literally just my journey from ranked. I'm literally at rookie rank too because I don't usually play it. And we're going to just kind of test different decks and see how far we can get in the ranked scene with the decks that I have built. Now I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown on how what these decks are and what to expect out of them but first off if you're enjoying the content on the channel make sure you hit like and subscribe because that shows me what you want to see and honestly it helps to channel out a whole bunch especially since we're trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of september now allow me to go through these decks first off i want to say these decks are not perfect they aren't these are not super highly competitive decks. I've never really been a big fan of the Master Duel competitive scene just because it's more or less watching somebody else play Solitaire. But I have built a couple of pretty decent decks. I'm not going to say they're god tier, but they're, they're pretty good. So this one is... Oh, jeez. I don't even remember what this one is. I've got a Kaiju in here. Apparently Terraforming is banned now, which is interesting. Oh, uh, Mausoleum. Okay, this is just big monster beatdown. I got Leo Tours. I got Lords of D. I got Luster Dragons, Gaia's. Uh, apparently, I'll need to adjust this because Terraforming is not allowed. Then I've got Turretron. Now, this deck is interesting. It focuses around Turret Warrior. And Turret Warrior's ability to consume other creatures and make himself stronger. Um, I also run Getsu Fuma in here because he's a big beater that instantly kills fiends and zombies, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, I got Zombira just to kill off a couple of early game monsters, if need be. Now, I do not like modern Yu-Gi-Oh, and I will be the first one to tell you that. This is also the standard, like, starter dragon deck. I don't like it. Um, modern Yu-Gi-Oh I find really boring. I really like old Yu-Gi-Oh. Where it's like, you know, set one card and set a couple of back row and end. I don't really care for Link monsters. I actually really don't like Link monsters, like, at all, but they're good monsters, I guess. XZs I'm even on the fence about. Synchros I'm okay with. Fusions I'm okay with. So a lot of my decks, as you see, will be kind of older Filkus, like, built decks. Um, this is an insect deck using things like Lair Wire and Destruction Jammer, Great Moth, that kind of stuff, Swarm of Scarabs, and the classic Petite Moth Cocoon of Evolution. Uh, then I've got a Cyrus deck. Now, this is a character deck, and I'm actually pretty sure this is a Legacy of the Duelist deck that I built. Like, I'm 90% sure it is. If not, it's just Viacroids, but I'm pretty sure this is just a Cyrus Truthdale deck. Now this is one of my stronger ones, um, this is Fluffles and Fright Furs. This deck is pretty consistently good, um, especially in later play, but I'm not really doing that right now. And then I actually have built a Ghost Trick deck. This deck was actually built before I Ghost Trick got their, I think they got a like core deck set or something in this. Then I do have Gookies. I'm not gonna lie, as I said, I don't like Link Monsters, but I do run some because they're just solid monsters overall. This is the Weevil Underwood deck, which I think is officially completed now. This is another one of those character decks that is taken off of Legacy of the Duelist, and I just like bug decks in general, so here we are. We're looking at it right now. Then we've got... This, which is not a deck at all. And then I am actu I actually have a Cosmo deck. Now, Cosmo is in a weird place, and I do run some things like XZs and Links in it, just as backup. This deck is actually pretty good in terms of a standalone deck. So, I'm excited to do that. Now, we're in beginner rank. I have not played this game in any sort of competitive fashion in a very, very long time. So I think I'm actually going to start with my bug deck and see how far we can get in this episode with my bug deck. 
Uh, this is what we're gonna do. Um, we will play this deck until I achieve three losses. After I get three losses, I will change the deck to something else. Um, going first is always better in this game. This is modern Yu-Gi-Oh! We're going, uh... I should have gone second, but I want to set up traps. Very nice. Actually, this is a really bad hand. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll start with that. I will set that. And I will set MS Day. And I will end my turn. Now, I'm very interested in seeing how far I can get with these terrible decks. And at some point, once I get some gems, I think they are in this game, I do intend to do a draft series, which is going to be really kind of funny to do. Pretty much, I'm going to be drafting from Master Packs and trying to build a deck for Ranked. And so our climb begins. Looks like this guy's kind of a slow player. He too seems to enjoy back row. And he is playing Blade Knight. Interesting. You also seem to be playing a pretty generic deck, Mr. Leonardo Perez CQ. You're not attacking though. Why wouldn't you attack me, my friend? I will destroy your back row. There we go. Let's blow up what he's got in the back. Let's see what he had. Skill successor and what was the other one? Unexpected die. That's an interesting card to pull. I do have Red Geki in this. I'm not overly worried about his Blade Knight. I'm just gonna end my turn. Let him get shook. Alright. What else do you got, buddy? I am happy that I am kind of halfway into the... more. Than, I think we're more than halfway into this season for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So, in bunny rank or whatever it is, rookie rank, I'm not going to be dealing with, like, gold to diamond rank decks. However, I am gonna say that this is not a great looking uh, hand, if I can be totally honest. Why isn't he attacking me? I'm wide open. Okay. We are gonna play Lairwire at this point, and I'm going to play Verdant Sanctuary. I don't want to ride Geki yet, I don't feel like I have to. Do you have a response for my Verdant Sanctuary? You do, you have a Dust Tornado. Honestly, that's a pretty good use of Dust Tornado. And I do run things like Lair Wire. Ooh, which you're targeting. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I will give you that one. And I will set my Petite Moth, just for a little bit of, you know, protection. I am holding on to my Raigeki right now because I don't want to waste it on his very mediocre field that he's playing right now. I feel like he's got something big in hand. And Raigeki will be my only out if he plays something like, you know, Gear Freed or... Who knows what else. I did kind of brick this hand, unfortunately. Not that this deck has any sort of longevity to it at all. And he did just play... Okay. I might consider Raigekiang now, because he's got a full field. What skill successor do? Why would you do that? You already could get over me. Oh shit, I should have activated that. That was really dumb of me. Now is that a permanent buff? No, it's only until the end of the turn. I 
I wonder if the, this guy has any idea what I'm going to be playing on him. No? Okay. Self-destruct him. Alright. Now we ride Gekki. He's playing an older deck as well, so... Okay, you can dust tornado, that's honestly fine. This guy's playing like a potato. Right. Okay, you do know that that does not negate the effect, right? Right, Gek still triggers. Let's clear that field up of yours. I see a couple of Leotors, was that? A Leotor. Okay, it looks like he's playing one of the... I think he might be playing the starter deck, or one of the starter decks. Self-destruct ant going for attack. There we go. Now we got some damage on the field, baby! That's what I'm talking about. You gonna, you gonna kill my ant? My, where my little raven at? 1800. You are going to kill my aunt, you butt. Alright, well, I'm gonna take a thousand damage with you on your way out. And I am gonna activate Verdant Sanctuary 100%. insect out here. Enjoy your damage. Looks like I'm gonna be cutting down a lot of time from these fucking episodes. Holy shit. If everybody slow plays like this, huh. Alright, end phase. What do you got? I got another great moth. These are just Dead draws. He's gonna say a monster. Monster Caro! Let me think about this. A special summon. Okay, I can choose what mode he goes into. Okay, so I might Howling Insect into Petite Moth here. In defense mode. Then use that to give me another Howling Insect. Use my Howling Insect, the new one, to attack, beckoned by the World Chalice. Which will allow me to... Special Summon Cocoon of Evolution. Main Phase 2, I'll be able to Cocoon. Oh, he didn't attack me, though. Do I have that, though? I forgot how I get this thing out. Hmm. Okay. I forgot how I do the metamorphosis, though. God, dude, I am bricking all hard. So bad. How did I draw every single one of my level 7 and ups? Tell me that. Yamate, Yugi. We got two 1800 beaters now. Fair enough, fair enough. I might have to do a reverse play. I might have to do Cocoon instead. I 
I know my internet ain't struggling. Ooh, big tribute. What do you got for me, buddy? Oh, you're linking? That seemed like a bad idea. He is playing the starter deck. Okay. So this is the first deck you get in the game, apparently. Also, my internet is not screwy. Well, stop saying it is. Oh, brother. Dude, just do it. Yes, Howling Insect. Yes, Howling Insect. And now the Great Moth play can begin. Alright, this will add from my deck to my hand. I would like... Howling Insect. Alright, this is Verdant Sanctuary's ability. Alright, special summon. I want to special summon Cocoon of Evolution. Do I have to special summon it in... Okay, no. I don't. Now this is how I end up getting my Great Moth play. Bro, stop saying my internet is whack. My internet is not whack. Turn change. Give me my petite mom. No, that's fine. I'm actually gonna summon this. I'm actually gonna sack it off. obnoxious okay so he shut down my play there for a second I still think I get howling insect the way I want it oh my god what we got crowned Okay, but you can't get past me, so... What's the play here, brother? Why? This guy's definitely a bot. I'm convinced. Or he's never played Yu-Gi-Oh before. Still do have a petite moth somewhere in my deck. But my deck does still compose of 27 cards. So let's see what we can do. We doing, man? Okay, you got my button. I'm really not that concerned about that. Only thing I'm really concerned by. Give me another bug. Give me, you know, give me my self destruct amp. How about my amp? What do you play, Smashing Ground? Oh, bro. 
There these long plays are killing me. Take eight hundred. He'll become 1,000, and I can equip him with the laser armor and make him a 1,700. Oh, he conceded. I think. Yep, he conceded. Thank God, homeboy was long playing. So hard. Yay, rank up. Don't feel like we should have gotten that. But I'll take those gems, because that'll help me towards my draft. I don't even want to. Okay, on to the next round. I don't know why he surrendered, though. Alright, here we go. We've got Jamem28. Ooh, he's got a pretty nice starter. Or a mate there, and he's got a pretty nice deck box. Alright, Jimen28, are you gonna hand me my first loss with my buggy buggy deck? Ooh, it's looking like you are. Yikes. Why am I always opening with a great moth? I mean, I know I need one, but like. Why? All right, Jamemi, what do you got? Show me what you show me your deck. What is that? Synchros? Ooh, okay. What synchro did you just show me? I didn't see that. Wanna wanna run that by me again? Uh, you showed me Junk Warrior. Okay, he's playing a junk deck. I feel like Junk Synchron in defense mode on turn 1 is not the move, but hey, what do I know? End phase. You really don't got much going on over there, do you? Layer wire. Okay. Let me toss out layer wire. Ooh, don't want to do that. No siree, Bob. And we'll toss out Mystical Space Typhoon. And we'll toss a Cocoon in Defense Mode. There we go. Now, he should absolutely be able to get Junk Warrior out right now. I don't even know what your card does. Unless Homeboy bricked hard, but I don't know how you can brick that badly with a junk deck. There's always something you can do. Uh, let me play with your dragon. Whip tailing? Nice. What else you got? No? That's it? You wanna give me any more? Fine. I'll play with my own Raven then. Why well, wait? Oh, he fell over. Okay, you're doing that again. I'm going to turn all of your stuff into bugs. MST can wait. There's going to be much better options for MST. You're showing me Junk Warrior again. Gonna bring out another Synchron, or are you gonna bring out something else? You are bringing out another Synchron. Sure, dude. Okay. I know you can't be getting shook over an insect deck. I'm literally a weevil. Buddy. It's 
my buddy. Okay, how do I do this? Uh, put heat moth. Yeah. I end my turn. My petite model is gonna get fucking cooked, dude. No way this thing's staying on the field longer than a turn. Only way I can get this play off correctly is if I silent insect it. Ooh, what's that? Converter? Good, good. Are you getting another Synchron? Why? Sure, man. Get whatever Synchron you want. You are aware that Synchro requires non-Synchros, too, correct? Okay, what's that? Okay, he can actually get Junk Warrior out now, which is nice. Unless this is also a Synchron. Okay. Are you going to summon another Synchron? <laughs> is that what's about to happen, or are you actually going to go into your boss monster? Actually, he's not even your boss monster. He's just the normal Synchro. Oh, he's going for it. He is. He's going for the Synchro. Thank God. Get that... Oh, that's not the one I thought you were going for. No, that's fine. Okay, Jet Synchron, Stardust Synchron. That's the big one. That's the important one. And another Junk Synchron. Okay, so are these the only ones that you're playing? Alright, if this card is normal special, add one spell or trap from your deck to your hand. That mentions Stardust Dragon. Okay. So you're definitely playing Yusai, Fudo. Come on, man. Ball's in your field. Oh, it's Quick Draw! I love Quick Draw. They're all bugs. Your whole field is bugs, man! Place a level 10... Oh, place a level 1 dragon. Fuck would you get a level one dragon? Return Stardust Dragon or Synchro Monster that lists Stardust from the field to the extra deck of the Synchro Summon. If a Synchro Monster is special summon during the I think you misplayed that. I'm pretty sure he misplayed this. Unless. Okay. I think he might be going for it right now. Yes. Okay. There's Stardust. That's what we wanted to say. Oh, uh, we are going to destroy that. Oh, and he conceded. I guess that was his big play. His big play revolved around Stardust Arrival, apparently. Even though he had the monster advantage. Hey, I will take that. Because that takes us out of Rookie. Now we're going to go into some actual decks. What do we got? Dope Cookie with a pot of green. I'm gonna go second. 
I don't think I need first turn with this deck. I think I need the extra card. Yeah, I got Raigeki and Multiplication. Tier Lament. Ah, the most meta deck of meta decks right now. The moment you step into bronze, all of a sudden you're fighting meta decks. Even this late into the fucking game. Alright. What are you going for, girl? We are about to take our first loss right here, folks. Gentlemen, Kirk at the top. Okay. Okay. You can target one monster you control, special summon a tier element. From your hand or graveyard, if you do, send a target monster to the graveyard. The card sends a graveyard by card effects, and the top five cards of your deck to the graveyard. Okay. So they want to self mill. That's their whole thing. Don't know why they want to self mill, but it is quite clear that is their plan. From what I've read so far. Right. That goes into the graveyard. I'm guessing they can do some sort of recycling. And this is where the solitaire comes into effect, folks. Elements merrily. Merrily, merrily. Fusion summon a fusion monster from your extra deck by placing fusion materials on the from your hand, field, and or graveyard, including this card from your graveyard on the bottom of the deck in any order. Okay, so they reshuffle as well. That's interesting. This looks like it's... Did they release a structure deck for tier elements? I'm willing to bet they did. Nice! You're beefy! Okay, so you set up a negation. You set up a negation specifically for somebody that special summons. Paleozoic Morelia. Man, they're gonna be kind of hurt when they're just like Gekki their field. Actually, they probably won't. With how much recycling it looks like this deck does, I don't think it's gonna matter if I put their stuff in their graveyard. Not bad. Let's read more. Let's MST. This one seems more important. Ah, uh, it wasn't. It was just a stupid Paleozoic. Nobody cares about that. Who cares about Palios? Actually, Palios are good. I can't. I cannot deny. Okay, Palio blew up. I'm going to ride Geki. Do you have a response? You gonna prevent me from attacking this turn? That is okay. Will that rise to full height? I'm honestly okay with this. I got he still triggers. Close up the field. 
And I'm going to... Monsta Libono. Ah. Damn. The whole plan was to steal that with Monster Reor. Oh, if only I had a Ash Blossom in my hand. I don't want any of your shitty cards now. Unfortunately, I could not activate that on the chain. It was not a quick effect. Predator plans. Ooh, okay. Well, we can normally face any one that plays predator. If it's level two or higher, it becomes level one as long as it has a predator. Negate the activate effect if you punish monsters that have predator. This guy is net decking. This is not an original deck at all. Shaman's Kalos. God damn it, dude. Nah, man, you know what? You got it. I don't feel like playing against tier elements. Not with the opening hand I had either. Alrighty, well that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more Master Duel and me trying to get pretty far with really bad decks you let me know in the comments or you can show it by liking and subscribing especially since we're trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of september that's gonna be it for this episode i hope to see you guys in the next one bye bye